Gardevoir has the insane ability called Trace, where you copy the opponent's ability when switching in. Simple is a very rare ability when one of the Pokemon's stats are raised or lowered, the amount is doubled. Now, there are very few Pokemon with access to the ability Simple, but the absolute legend Golduck happens to be one of the only Pokemon with access to the move Simple Beam. This essentially just gives the opposing Pokemon Simple. We can use Golduck to simplify him, switch in Gardevoir, and let Trace do its thing. Now when we click Calm Mind, instead of plus one special attack in special defense, we actually get plus two. We also have a Salak Berry to effectively double our speed when consumed, and before you know it, Gardevoir can go crazy. The final icing on the cake is using Stored Power. Stored Power is a 20 base power move that gains 20 power for each of the user's stat boosts. After a few simple boosted stat increases, Stored Power becomes one of the scariest moves in the game. Ladies and gentlemen, do I have a treat for you today. I'm on my never-ending quest to make all sorts of weird Pokemon work, and if you're into that kind of thing, consider hitting that subscribe button. I'm on my way to 300k, it's free, it only takes you a second, and you will not regret it. Let's go ahead and jump into the match. Alright, so my opponent's actually working with a pretty interesting Hisuian squad, got a lot of big threats on it, including the Cleaver. They're gonna lead off with this bad boy, as I decide to toss out young Humphrey, the absolute beast, one of the greatest shinies, and one of the mons that never gets used. But I decided to just try to lay down some Stealth Rock, they actually think the same idea, however, they go for the Stone Axe, which both does damage, and sets up the Stealth Rock, while Humphrey just has to do shit the old-fashioned way. I just set up the Stealth Rock here, and that, with the Sharpness boost from the Cleaver, it's gonna do a lot with that Stone Axe, and I can't really take another one, and I also don't really have a whole lot that wants to switch into this. So, they go for another Stone Axe, they do hit, and down goes Humphrey. We're down one from the start, but... We're out here just getting rolling. I got the Stealth Rock up, so I don't have to worry about potential Focus Sashes of theirs in the back. And at this point, I can switch into whatever I want. Now, I decide to go into Doug Dimmadome, owner of the Dimsdale Dimmadome. And Galarian Weezing is out here styling on him with his cool hats and mustache. So, this thing sets up the Misty Surge. Now, I'm not running Neutralizing Gas. I set up the Mist because, paired with the Misty Explosion, we can do huge damage. I'm expecting this thing to likely switch out, knowing they can't Oko me. They actually just end up staying in, go for that Stone Axe actually do some huge damage, and then I just... What the fuck? <laughs> so even though I expected them to switch into an unexpecting fellow on the explosion, they actually just stay in. Cleaver is gonna get absolutely blown the hell up, and I'm now down two Pokemon, but this is now gonna open up the battlefield to switch into whatever we like, and I figure, all right, it's time. They're gonna end up going into the weirdier. Now, I decide to bring in the Golduck, and Golduck on this team, of course, has pretty much one goal, and that is to c both confuse the hell out of them and go for the simple beam. So, Weirder comes in, we both take a little bit of Stealth Rock, my Focus Sash is broken, but luckily, this thing shouldn't have a move uh, to be able to knock me out. So, I'm gonna go for that simple beam, and throw some circles at him, and now you're no longer intimidating, and you're instead a simple little fella. So, part one complete. This thing actually just ends up going for the Psy Shield Bash, which does actually give you a defense boost, and since now this thing's ability is simple, it doubles the effect of stat increases, and now it gets a nice little plus two defense. Now, I'm not super worried about this thing's physical defense because my plan initially is to hit it with the Gardevoir. So, Golduck's job here is complete. We're now gonna pivot out with this newly acquired flip turn, and I can just basically hard switch directly into the Gardevoir. I don't mind coming in on an attack. So this thing's actually carrying the Salak Berry. If I get knocked down to berry range, it gives me a nice little plus two boost in speed once we come in here and we can trace the simple ability. Uh, so now the plan is essentially in full force. He's gonna go for a Psy Shield Bash on the switch in. Of course, it's not gonna do a whole lot. Gardevoir can take those all day long and it's just gonna continue to boost its physical defense over here and just eat some leftovers. This weird here probably feels like He's in a relatively safe position here. However, now it's time for Gardevoir to do exactly what this thing is built to do. So, I can go for a Calm Mind. Now, of course, ordinarily that just gives you a plus one special attack and speed. With our simple ability, it's gonna give us a sharp boost in both, uh, which is then gonna slowly but surely increase the power of stored power to pretty insane levels. Now, I was really hoping that that next Earthquake actually knocked me down to the range where I activate my Salak Berry, just to add another plus two in speed. But it doesn't quite do that, as now I just have to go for a Draining Kiss. I need to get some health back here. To be able to take another Earthquake, I give him a little smoocheroo right on the old neck beard, And that is going to bring us to the point where we can take these Earthquakes pretty much all day long. As it goes for another Earthquake here, it's probably their only move that is uh, at least neutral to me. So, this weirder's got himself in a, a weird situation, right? He can't really afford to switch out, because this Gardevoir 
essentially just can kind of do huge damage to whatever comes in. And so we found ourselves the position against the one mon where we can easily just kind of take advantage of. And it, again, they're just kind of, they, their back is up against the wall here. I go for another draining kiss here. It actually doesn't end up knocking it out, but it's gonna give me a whole bunch of health back as I'm just basically uh, just toying around with the deer over here. It goes for another earthquake. And I noticed that this one's actually gonna put me into range where if I take another one, I might get knocked down to that Salic, which is going to give me that plus two, double the speed. I'll be faster than everything on their team um, and just have so many boosts. So I'm gonna go for one more Calm Mind here as they fall directly into it. They're just gonna continue to earthquake. They probably just want this matchup over with, but I go for another Calm Mind, which gives me another sharp boost in special defense and special attack. And the Earthquake, perfectly, is going to knock me down to 19 HP, where then it's snack time, bitch. Salic Berry does activate. We get that huge boost in speed, and now we're faster than, most importantly, the Sneasler on their team. So, um, we are essentially in full effect over here with this Gardevoir, and this Weirdier has no idea what the hell's going on. He's like, first, this guy threw circles at me, gave me a random ability. <laughs> And now this. So I go for one more Draining Kiss just to finish it off. Uh, it does put me... Honestly, the Draining Kiss is nice because the main thing I am worried about is going to be like potentially the Sneasler having like a priority with the Fake Out. So now they decide to switch into the Ursa Luna. Now if there's anything on their team, literally from the Hisui region that can take attacks, it's Ursa Luna's thick ass. This thing comes in. I'm going to go for the Terra and now I can click the Stored Power. So... Of course, with the way Stored Power works, you get 20 increase in damage for every stat boost you have. And with Calm Mind boosting two stats in simple doubling that, it's honestly, there's basically nothing that wants to take this. I even go for the Terra Psychic just to have like the most insane damage ever at this point, but they actually just protect. The bear says, hey, hold on a second, bro. I actually, I'm not ready yet. I wanna, I wanna activate my Flame Orb, but I figured, you know, your Flame Orb is not gonna save you now, good sir. Uh, it does protect itself, of course, but you can't protect yourself all day. It does get that burn, which, you know, guts boosted. Facade Ursaluna is indeed very scary, but what's even scarier is uh, Gardevoir when my base power of freaking stored power is like a thousand. So I go for that stored power and it's going to just straight up obliterate the bear. And honestly, that's amazing to see. Ursaluna has been a menace since that thing came out and uh, it's, nice to, it's nice to finally get it knocked out in one hit. So... Now they decide to go into the Sneasler. Now, again, the main thing that these things do is going to have that priority with the Fake Out, but at 44 HP, I'm actually just barely able to live it with 8. I do get the flinch, but because of that Salic Berry, my speed is doubled. I can then outspeed and then smooch him straight to death. That is going to knock out the Sneasler, um, and it's going to get me nearly back to full HP, which is absolutely amazing. At this point, they're down to two Pokemon left, and while we had a little bit of a slow start, uh, the Gardevoir is able to, to bring it back for us. So in comes the Hisuian Lilligant. Uh, again, this thing would outspeed me, but because of that plus two Salic Berry, I can just outspeed, go for another little Draining Kiss. Um, a stored power, basically anything kills at this point with the amount of special attack I have. So I decided to just kiss it, get myself back to full, and uh, we are going on an absolute rampage. So... The final Pokemon is going to be the Basque Legion, and even if this thing is Scarf, we still are going to be able to outspeed with that boost, and uh, surprise, surprise, a stored power is going to do a shit ton of damage. So they do actually go ahead and commit the Terra here, just basically because they have an open Terra at this point, and trying to just boost their uh, boost their Ghost Stab a, a bit here as they go for that Terra Ghost. However, Guard War ain't afraid to no Ghost, baby. We go for a stored power, and that is going to take care of it. So that is going to be the end of the match there. Hopefully you guys enjoyed. This is a super fun strategy that when you can get it to work like this, it's just super satisfying to see the payoff. I do have some more plans for this strategy and for some future videos. So if you guys did enjoy, make sure to let me know. I wanted to post this one just because there's truly not a better way to showcase uh, the power that this, can, that this can come up with. So thank you guys very much for watching. For real, I do appreciate all the support. Make sure to leave a like on the video if you did enjoy, and I will catch you next time. Peace out.